Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little, and we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiot. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne and this is Sticky May 17. My channel is all about all about cleaning information, inspiration and motivation. So if you're interested, please like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. In today's video, I have got a real life clean for you. <laughs> Obviously my house is real life anyway, but this is um, extreme because this is not how my house usually is. I do generally keep on top of my housework, but we've had a massive storm um, the last couple of days, just rain and wind and everything. So my cats have been in and out of the house. There's footprints everywhere. The beds are disgusting. Um, so I'm gonna be changing the beds, even though it is only Thursday today when I'm recording this. Um, and I usually change my beds on a Sunday, but they are disgusting. Uh, my dishwasher hasn't been unpacked because of the storm as well. The cats have been using the cat genie, which I have no problem with it. That's what it's there for. And I'm going to be rambling a little bit. Um, so there's obviously a bit of litter on the floor. I've got some Costco shopping that I need to put away. Um, and I just need a basic spruce up. So it's holidays next week and I want to get everything done now so that I can have this next week with my daughter. So I'm going to whiz through and get the house nice and clean and ready for the week ahead just to be trashed again for next week. <laughs> so this is the messiest pretty much my house has been in a while um, but I want to get the whole house done as over the next two days as I say it's Thursday today so over the next two days I want to get the whole house done and make sure that it's all ready for it to just have a nice week together. Anyway, guys, with all of that said, any products I use in my home will be linked on the website, stickymess17.co.uk. Any products you might want a link to or that I haven't listed, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for all your support. Um, don't forget, when I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'll be donating a £50 Amazon voucher. And when I get to 2,000 subscribers, I'll be shaving my head and donating the proceeds of the video to the Wales Air Ambulance and my hair to the Little Princess Trust who make wigs for children with illness and cancer who have lost their hair. Anyway, guys, let's, all that said, let's jump straight into it. Some people have written books, some have a great look that covers the magazines for kids who are 17. I don't know what to do Staring into the blue sky And just waiting for a sign Some, they are certain Of what awaits them When it all ends But I don't know What will happen to me Will I be remembered In a century Or will I be forgotten Like dust in the wind Or the talk of the town That we are living in Well, I don't If you're new here, my general rule of thumb is one load a day and put it away. Now, as you can see, I've got two laundry baskets. I use these collapsible baskets because they're easy to store. And generally, one uh, load is a full basket. So it works out absolutely perfectly to sort out the washing as you take it off um, into lights, darks and what I call odds. And then I put that in the machine, rotate the baskets, take them out, fold them and... And then when I'm folding the laundry, usually I'm, depending where I'm folding it, I uh, put my daughter's clothes into one basket and my clothes into another basket or however, just so that it's organized in the baskets and it's a lot easier to put away than just shoving everything into one basket. That's the way I do it and that's the way I stay on top of it. So it works for me, but let me know what your system is. I know, how I know what lies ahead of me? Am I part of a grand Am I part of Happen to me, will I be remembered? 
remembered in this century? Or will I be forgotten like dust in the wind? Or the talk of the town that we are, that we are living in? I don't know what will happen to me. Will I be remembered in this century? Or will I be forgotten yeah. like dust in the wind? Or the talk the other thing I do with the laundry is any laundry that needs to be hung up either gets hung up straight away depending again where I'm folding the laundry or I hang it over the side of the basket and then I put that hanging stuff away first and it just makes it so much easier, more organized and just makes light work of a chore I absolutely do not like. In the sand. Another thing what I generally do is while I'm going around the rooms is just empty the bins as I'm going around because I do not like the look of full bins. I know it kind of defeats the purpose of having a bin, but if you empty them, it keeps on top of them. And then when you come to take the bin bags out, they all empty anyway. Or you might have a tissue or something. Little bit. It's just one way I keep on top of my bins. And it's another thing, as I say, to make the room look that little bit tidier. Now, I'm using my pink e-cloth, uh, multi-purpose cloth. Uh, you love my e-cloth? If you're new here, I love e-cloths. It's never sponsored at the moment. Well, I'm not sponsored by e-cloth, but I genuinely love e-cloths. They're just so easy to clean. They're microfiber. And as you can see, my kitten wants to help. Um, and it just makes light work of dusting and keeping on top of the housework and there's no product needed. Just like that i've got four loads of laundry to do again two lots of bedding lights and the dark basket is also going to go in the wash and so so much for one load a day and put it away but i want to get this laundry done so that it is out of my hair because i do not like again full baskets let me know if there's any person on the planet that likes a full laundry basket unless it's clean <laughs> also do you do ironing or how do you manage with um you know just stuff that needs ironing do you not do it do you refuse to do it do you like ironing i don't mind too much with my steam generator iron but for the most part i don't have to iron because i take it out of the dryer and i hang it straight up and again now i'm on to stripping my daughter's bed Now, as you can see, this is the next day because I had a grey duvet cover on and it's time to strip my bed. And Pixie's just watching Sammy going around in the garden, minding her own business and watching the birds. And it's literally the calm before the storm because we ended up having another storm like 24 hours later, which we had a blackout and we ended up having pizza by torchlight. Thank goodness I've got a plumber's torch and thank goodness I have candles and three battery packs in the house because we survived <laughs> um also had a camping stove and also a gas heater so that was really nice just to main you know, obviously keep the house warm for my daughter and be able to cook beans on toast at least um on a little gas camping stove so that was nice <laughs>
as you saw just now, I was doing my daughter's bedroom and I have wiped her room down and the cats are coming in to help me now. And then once I'm finished in my room, I am going to go and also wipe down everything in my room so that that is the dusting and the beds change in our room. And you can see this is why I don't like the cats in the bedroom because they get into the duvet and everything else while I'm trying to make the bed. And I'm doing this in slow motion now so you can see that I'm not actually throwing them off the bed, like literally throwing them. He's jumping off the bed and so is she um, because when I speed it up it literally looks like I'm throwing the cats and I'm so concerned about it. But as you can see I guided her off, I told her to get off and I held Binks as he went off the bed as well. So this is my Philips Elite Care steam generator iron. Um, I've had it now probably about three or four years. I absolutely love it. She is so easy to store away. Well, I don't really pack her away, but tidy her up. Um, why is she a she? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> um, it is a she for now. And just, it's easy to iron. It's easy to just take around the house. I am, she is quite bulky, but to like iron curtains and that, which I still actually haven't done at the time of recording this. Um, so I need to iron the curtains. Well, steam the curtains because obviously they've been through the wash. I've still got my bedroom curtains to do, um, my bedroom windows. And that is pretty much all my windows done in the house. And I tell you what, it's just such a nice thing to have them done. But I've got my collab coming up where I'm going to be cle deep cleaning my kitchen. So I'm looking forward to doing that because obviously since the storm, we've got footprints and everything coming up uh everywhere so i need to clean that up but now i'm going to move on to the bathroom and since i'm doing all the laundry i'm going to do my towels as well um wash the towels the bath mats and give the bathroom a very good clean <laughs>
believe it or not, I find washing the bath um, very difficult because I haven't got the mobility that I used to have. But I do also find it very therapeutic because once my bath is clean, it literally sparkles. And all I use is the e-cloth mesh pad and I use a sift cream cleaner. Now, I know you can use washing up liquid and all sorts of lotions and potions in the bathtub. But I find this works the best for me. And I also find that with the black tile, it obviously shows watermarks. But if I wash it with a sift cream cleaner and the e-cloth, I mean, I don't polish the tiles, but they dry really nicely and streak free. So this is why I do it in this particular way. I mentioned in one of my videos a few weeks back that should I cut my hair? Well, I took the plunge and I just took, um, I went to a hairdresser obviously, and I had my hair cut. I think they took off about an inch and a half of, of my hair, but it was just so dead and so tatty that it needed a good trim. But now it feels like I've got no hair again, but it's still a good length to be donated. So let's get to 2000 subscribers guys and let's shave my head because it's really irritating me. <laughs> So I've just wiped down my bathroom with my yellow bathroom e-cloth that is now going to the washing pile because obviously I'm washing towels so I wash my e-cloth with my towels and I'm wiping down the toilet with antibacterial wipes and then I use that one thing imajiggy whatever you call it um, and I will just give the toilet a quick scrub and just freshen it all up now i have got a fresh disc in the toilet that's a green spot in the toilet at the, that you can see there um and i'll obviously go around that to preserve that otherwise it's just wasting because i'll wash it off it's like a sticky disc that goes into the toilet and it supposedly works better than a rim block i can't comment i just find rim blocks so disgusting <laughs> Now at this point my towels have been fin the finished going through the wash so I take out all the e-cloths, all the shower sponges, loofers, whatever but I only tumble dry the towels. I've, I will into the filter as well and then I just leave them to dry and I, whilst I put the next load on and I just do this all the way through. Once my towels are dry I take them out, put the washing machine load in there and obviously I just rotate my baskets and put it away and it's all done then and manageable. <music> So if you've noticed, I'm using Daz to liquid tablets at the moment, and that's only because I'm almost out of powdered pa uh, washing powder from Costco. They haven't seemed to have Kirkland washing powder in for a few months now. Um, so I'm just using a step in between for the moment. And I'm saving my powder for like the smaller loads of like jumpers and things like that, where I don't need a full liquid tab. Um, I do like it. It's convenient, but I don't. I prefer having the powder because it lasts me virtually a full calendar year. But I still add my soda crystals in the wash. I don't need to put fabric softener in. So technically it's a saving, but it works out about 19 pence a wash, I think, with these Dez tablets that I got. I think I got them from Tesco. Um, and it was just literally a tide me over. And then uh, we managed to get 
Kirkland liquid. Um, I haven't noticed the difference between the liquid and the tablets, to be honest, or the powder. So now I'm just running with my vacuum cleaner over and get the excess litter up and empty that straight into the cat genie. And now to wipe up, as you can see, all the footprints everywhere and give it a good clean because it is um, a bit of a mess. <laughs> So we're coming to the end of the video now guys I wanted to say thank you so much for watching I'm not doing an outro on this video so this is it I wanted to say thank you so much for watching thank you for your support I really do appreciate every single one of you all my patrons all my youtubers everybody who is watching my videos and supporting me even the ones that I hate watching me thank you so much I'm so getting so close to a thousand subscribers guys I am just so excited uh, it's been a long time coming I'll be honest and it's been a lot of hard work a lot of recovering and a lot of satisfying cleaning so guys thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to this channel look after your brains look after each other and i will see you in the next one take care see you bye life goes up and it goes down i know my mom taught me that i figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out